want to get faster on court, this is free exercise in how to practice your speed. This is Basic Fitter. We are a badminton brand founded by myself, Lemon Quack, and Morten Frost, the former Old England champion. What we want to do is to create high quality products with a very minimalistic approach. So when you see our products, I'm sure you'll feel like this minimalistic Scandinavian vibe. That's what we believe is missing in badminton. Exercise number one, we have to smash and follow a very classic exercise, but we get the full speed where you move from the rear court to the net. It's a very simple exercise, 2v1. There are no rules. You can actually play any shot you want. It's all about moving the one who's having to work. But as and when the player who is working in this exercise is deciding to attack, you have to make sure that you block straight. And then, of course, it's a smash from the back of the court and a follow-up. And it's the follow-up that's the important part of this to get it early and see if we can play a winner. You have to give that chance by playing a straight block. As and when you attack from the back of the court, when you're smashing and you follow up, if that return, the, the block shot, is too good, it's too tight, it's really difficult to do anything about it, it's all about sort of refocusing, making sure that you can see that you can't play an outright winner. So it's all about playing a good quality shot on that one. And then it's back to square one. We start all over again, play with patience, get back into it and it's very, very important to be able to distinguish between whether you actually have that opportunity or not. A lot of players when they're doing this exercise and also when they are sort of playing um, in tournaments and matches and all that, a lot of players are hanging in the corners as we call it. They're too late to follow up and it's all about when you make that decision, you have to play that good smash, that good quality smash. And by playing good quality, that means you can follow up and it's all about see whether you can get a point on it. The smash and follow-up exercise is a really great one because you're really explosive both in getting from the rear court to the net but actually also from the net to the rear court where you just have maximum speed on both directions. So it's a really, really good exercise in practicing your speed. Next up is a defense exercise, one feeder, one doing the exercise. The feeder moves towards the tee, standing at the front of the court and then starting to feed the player in the best possible way. Again, it's completely random. Make sure there's a good pace to it. Make sure that the player can just reach it. Reach it. Make sure that the pressure is perfect. This exercise is all up to the feet, it's really to to sense and feel what kind of pressure is needed and to do it exactly enough to make sure the pressure is on. It's not too much and it's not too little. This exercise is super good because you get to practice your speed, your quick feet. You need to be super low in your split jumps and then just move really fast with your feet. And this is super important because when we see people that are, I would say, slow in their defense, it's because either they are too high in their split jumps or their feet is simply just too slow. Lastly, we have a full court exercise, maximum speed. You can play anywhere, but we're gonna do it on a doubles court instead of singles. So the exercise we're gonna see here is a full court exercise, multi-feeding, random feeding. But the only difference is that we are doing a full court multi-feeding exercise on the doubles court. So the court is a bit bigger and that means we need to take bigger steps, try and practice that, the bigger steps and recover a bit faster. But basically we wanna try and, and play with the, with the mindset that 
you should just cover everything on a, on a big court and run for all the shuttles. What we want to do with this exercise and why it's good is because we want to make the court a bit bigger. So it's a variation where you have to cover the court a bit more than usual. So these are three exercises on how to practice your speed on court. Smash and follow up, defense and then full court on the doubles court, although it is a single exercise. It's how to improve your speed as mentioned. So try them and let us know what you think of each of the exercise. If you like watching this video and enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button and subscribe to Basic Fetter.